here is another update and in this update I'm going to show three new figures from NECA and uh, uh, Nintendo console. I'm going to start with the, with the Nintendo. Uh, this is Nintendo Classic Mini and this is like a small version of the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was released in Sweden uh, in 1986 or 87 and it costs 1495 back then and you get you got uh, one game uh, with the system ice climber and this nintendo classic mini it's a, a small version of the uh, nes and it has 30 games pre-installed so you got you get 30, 30 games and you can't add any more and it's really small there you have the console in a hand and if we watch on the back here's the games that you get. Uh, this uh, NES Classic Mini has a price of 799 and it was released uh, November 11th last year and it sold out like immediately because I guess many people wanted to buy it for Christmas. And I was lucky enough to get one of the consoles. And so you got 30 games, 30 classic games pre-installed. And you get some of the games. You got Super Mario Brothers 1, 2 and 3. And The Legend of Zelda 1 and 2. And just those five games is... It's worth, it's worth buying this console just for those five games. But you also get other good games like uh, Castlevania, Metroid, Kid Icarus, uh, Donkey Kong, um, Ghosts and Goblins, one of the toughest games ever. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, and Bubble Bubble, that's a great game. Uh, and Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. And Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. So, uh, I'm really glad that I was able to get one of these. And now we are waiting for Nintendo Switch. It will be released next week on Friday, March 3rd, and I have pre-booked it and I'm counting down the days like a kid counts down to Christmas. Because uh, the new Zelda game, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, what I've seen, it's gonna be an amazing Zelda game, maybe the best Zelda game ever, and most likely the biggest Zelda game ever. And then we have this uh, Friday the 13th, part 3 3D, a new dimension in terror. And that there's Jason behind the curtain. And he has a knife and it, it's like a, a 3D effect. So the knife comes out. And on the back. There we have Jason. 
uh, let's read, an idyllic summer turns into a nightmare of unspeakable horror for yet another group of naive coeds ignoring Camp Crystal Lake's bloody legacy. One by one, they fall victim, victim to the mani maniacal Jason who stalks them at every turn. Uh, and in part three, this is where he gets his hockey mask. He takes it from one of his victims. And if we open up, there we have it. Jason holding a bloody machete. And there's the figure. And he gets uh, some equipment like a machete and a pitchfork and a harpoon and there we have Jason. And he has like two heads, one regular head and one bloody injured head. So Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th part 3. And then we have an, another figure and that's also Jason. Friday the 13th part 6, Jason Lives. And it's a great poster with his Jason's tombstone and the mask. And this is, part 6 is my favorite Friday the 13th sequel. Uh, if we read here, uh, as a child, Tommy Jarvis did what many others died trying to do. He killed Jason Voorhees, the mass murderer who terrorized the residents of Crystal Lake. Years later, tormented by the fear that maybe Jason isn't really dead, Tommy and a friend make a fateful trip to Jason's grave. And they wake him up and now Jason is a zombie who can't be killed. And Alice Cooper made a song for this movie called He's Back, The Man Behind the Mask. And if we open it up. So there we have Jason with a machete. That's like his go-to weapon when he wants to kill. And we have, there we have Jason's tombstone and he has a spear and a machete and a survival knife. And there we have the mask and there we have Jason and he's pretty ugly in this movie. So part 6 is my favorite Friday the 13th and the best kill is when Jason is in a uh, like a, a van and he he's in a toilet and he takes in takes uh, uh, a girl and in the toilet and then he smashes his face, her face into the wall, so the wall uh, looks like her face. If you have seen the movie, you know what I mean. So, now I have two Jason from NECA. And the last NECA figure is from Aliens. This time it's war. Ripley and Newt. This is called Rescuing Newt, the deluxe set. And here we have the back. With Ripley and Newt. And if we read here 
barely making it back to Earth after her first alien encounter, Ripley discovers that the colony was established on LV-426 in the 57 years she floated in space in cryogenic sleep. When the settlement goes silent, Ripley reluctantly accompanies a group of colonial marines on a search and rescue mission, hoping for the best. But a familiar deadly menace awaits her. They find only one survivor, a plucky little girl nicknamed Newt. As the marines are picked off one by one, Ripley arms herself and vows to protect Newt at all costs, even if it means facing the aliens alone again. Uh, and it says here, includes Ripley and Newt action figures, Ripley's flamethrower, pulse rifle, accessory with Attachable fire effects. And if we open it, so there we have the Queen, Ripley, and Newt. And here it says. Alien Queen and Eggs sold separately. So there we have Ripley and Newt and the Pulse Rifle and Flamethrower. So I mean Aliens is my favorite movie of all time so I just had to buy the, this figure. So, there you have it. Nintendo Classic Mini, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 3, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, and Ripley and Newt from Aliens. So, until next time, over now.